We are Tactile Craftworks, a small leather crafting company based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we've been in business for about four years now. We really focus on making quality leather goods with old-fashioned techniques, but embellished with the modern technology of the laser cutter. So now that we've finished our luggage tag project, we want to show a more advanced project with the Dremel DigiLab laser cutter. So we are going to start working on our Tab Together tote. A project that really shows off kind of the intricacies of the cutting that the laser can do. Basically, it is a tote bag that is made entirely of leather. There are no fasteners, there's no stitching, there's no glue that's needed. The entire thing just braids itself together. This kind of complex project is something that would be incredibly difficult, virtually impossible to do by hand. The laser cutter really allows you the precision design and precision cutting. You're not gonna to wanna to try to do this one with a pair of scissors. So we're gonna start by bringing in our files. The first file that we're gonna cut is the front panel, which is where the handles are also gonna attach. So you'll see that there are holes for the handles in this file. Perfect, and it's the same file for both the front and the back of the tote. Yep, and then different ones for the side, the bottom, and the straps. Now that we have all of the files created and we know that it works, now it's a really easy thing for us to replicate again and again as many times as we need. So the cut files need to be SVG or PDF. This file we have no engraving on, but that doesn't mean that anyone else using this file couldn't add their own image to it. So they could add any pattern that they wanted to, and they can do that right here in the software. These files are available in the Dremel DigiLab project library, and so you can take this file that we've created and customize it any way that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this so that it fits on the piece that we're cutting, and there's a couple of shortcuts in the program, like Alt-R, which is gonna rotate 90 degrees, and that way we can get it to fit in our workspace. So we've created this file in particular to fit this 12 by 20 bed on the Dremel laser. All right, so now that I've double checked that our material setting is right, it's on the veg leather, I'm gonna go ahead and send this over to the laser to cut. All right. Perfect. You can hear the filtration system kick in. We're looking at all of our safety checks just to make sure that everything is good to go. We're gonna go ahead and give it a start. All right, so this piece is gonna take about 16 minutes. It's neat how closely we can get the lines on it. Yeah, absolutely. And really get those tiny cuts in. I mean, that means that we're wasting as little material as possible. So everything is good to go. We're just gonna take a look and see how it came out. We have so little smoke out here, we're really thrilled about that, and everything looks like it cut incredibly precisely. Now that we have this first front panel, we're gonna go ahead and cut one exactly like this for the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and import the file for the side panel. So it looks like we still have some room on the bed. Can we go ahead and do the handles at the same time? Yeah, let's bring in the strap file. And you're right, we can just position this right up top so that we get the most out of our material. And now we can get all of those cuts on the same bed and send this file to the laser cutter. All right, so it looks like we've got a side panel and two straps done. And again, the precision here is incredible. One more side panel and the bottom. And then we're good to assemble. So let's go tab them together. Great. So one of the things that we really like about this project in particular is that it really utilizes the Dremel DigiLab laser cutter to its fullest potential. It's a lengthy process, but it's pretty simple. It's just two simple tabs that fit together. And it's gonna take a while, but because everything is so nice and precisely cut, it's actually very simple to do. Excellent. So this is kind of like a braiding process a little bit. You just start by inserting one point of each tab into a corresponding hole, and you just kind of work your way through, pushing each piece together. And then it's just a matter of making sure you are consistent with which way you go. One over, one under, one over, one under, all the way down. We're doing this mystery flat braid. It's this really neat little technique that you can use to do a three-piece braid on something that doesn't have free ends. You're gonna take your bottom tab and you're gonna insert it in your right slot like this and you're gonna pull it all the way through. Then it's a lot like a three-strand braid. You go left over center, right over center, left over center, and then you're gonna take that tab at the bottom and you're gonna put it through and pull. So you're just gonna do the exact same thing two more times to fill the braid on the whole strap. And then you can kind of work the braid down so that it's even, and that is how you do a mystery braid. So once we get the side pieces all woven together, then we're gonna attach the bottom. You're gonna go ahead and stand this up like this, and you're gonna take what seems like an extra tab and put it into the first slot on the bottom piece. That's gonna be true on all four sides. There's gonna be one tab on each side of the bottom. And now it's actually starting to look like a three-dimensional bag and object. And the only thing that's left to do is to take our mystery braided handles and feed them through the slots that we've already laser cut here. So on these, we like to really feature the design of the cut. And the shield design at the end of each handle helps to keep everything in place. And there you go, the tap together tote. 
The Dremel Digilab laser cutter really inspired us to take these beautiful two-dimensional materials and go through this two-dimensional process, but think of it in a, in a way that can tab together and create a three-dimensional product. For more projects like this, visit Dremel's website.